Hello, my friends. Welcome to the mushroom wand craft. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Um, so I actually created this mushroom wand because I was invited to a mushroom themed party. And last second, right before I left to go to the party, I decided to make a mushroom wand. And then I also made one for the birthday girl because yay. So we are going to be making the mushroom wands today because they are just so much fun and a very exciting craft. All right, so let's get started here. Okay, so we have all of these little bits and pieces in our little kit here. What you're gonna see is these little dots, which are going to be the little dots for the mushroom. And they're actually fuzzy because it's on suede paper. Ah, oh, so much fun, so exciting. I love it so much. Um, so what we're gonna do here to get started is you're gonna wanna use a black pen of some kind. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glaze pen here. And um, you're going to see um, the bottom part of our mushroom. This is going to be like the gills of the mushroom is going to go on the underside. Um, and so I've already inked up the sides here. You can see that. So now what we're going to do, and there's a little hole in the center already, you're going to start from where these little indentations are. This is a, called a scallop circle here. Um, and so in the inside part, the indentation of the scallop, this is where we're going to make our little lines. And we're going to kind of draw them kind of towards the center. Notice I'm not drawing the line all the way to the center. Just for the most part, I'm just drawing towards it. And sometimes I do like a double line and that just kind of creates these like this like gill shape of the gills and the mushroom. So that's what we're aiming for. All right, so we're gonna do that all the way around the outside. All right, there we are, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm gonna set this to the side because I don't need it quite yet, but we're gonna come back to that in just a moment. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're gonna grab a pair of scissors and you're going to take your scissors and cut from the side to the center, okay? So just one slice from the side of the circle to the center. Oh, that's kind of to the center, but we're aiming towards the center. Hopefully you did that better than me. And then we see how you, when you kind of tuck this around, it kind of makes this kind of like little cone shape just slightly. Um, obviously the more that you press that together, the more pointy your cone will be. So I don't want mine to be super pointy because I want it to still look like a mushroom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use hot glue. We're gonna put hot glue on the part we're sticking it onto, okay? So, and I'm not gonna put a line of glue all the way up to the center because when I fold this over, you might see some of that glue. So I'm mostly just aiming towards the bottom part here is where I'm gonna put the glue, okay? And I'll show you that in just a second here. So we're aiming for glue kind of right here. Just a little, a little tiny, a little line of, of hot glue there. Hopefully you can see that. And we're just gonna wrap this in place and just kind of stick it down, okay? Now, I know um, some kids always mention to me like, oh gosh, it's warm or it's hot. So just be careful as you're doing this and make sure you don't burn yourself. All right, so, and then I always recommend that you press and hold that for maybe about 10 seconds. It's very funny. Kids are always like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm like, there's, it's one, one thousand, two, one thousand, right? Like, you gotta count till 10. Okay, so once that's all stuck in place, which is great, we are now going to be gluing on our little dots. Um, I recommend using white glue for this part versus using hot glue. Um, you can use hot glue if you want, and if you already have it out, that's great. Um, but it's not necessary to use hot glue to glue on our little, all our little dots, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna squirt out a little bit of my glue. Um, this is the type of glue I'm using is called PVA, which is, stands for polyvinyl adhesive. Um, and it's just a nice paper to paper glue, but it's also a really great book binding glue. So I'm just gonna put some glue on each of these little dots and stick those down. And I'm kind of covering up the area just a little bit um, where, that, um, where the two parts of the red top of our mushroom are kind of coming together. Um, that way I'm not accidentally, you know, if there's any glue that's like poking out, I'm not like, oh, there's really obvious that's glue. I'm trying to cover that up a little bit just in case there was any uh, glue sticking out. All right. So we got our little dots on here. And then what I'm also gonna do with um, one of my little larger dots, and actually one of my small dots, is I'm actually going to cut it. So then that way there's kind of a flat edge, and that way it kind of looks like it's on the edge of the mushroom. So that's kind of a fun thing to do, and I really like doing that sometimes, because it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, I know that it's kind of hanging off the edge just slightly. I'll take a pair of scissors and trim that once that's dry. I'm gonna do the same thing with one of these little ones too, because again, I just like how that looks. It just makes it look a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. We got this guy down here, and you don't you don't have to rush. You know, you can take your time and you know create whatever design you would like with your little circles. And you may decide to put them all on here. You may decide to only put a couple on there. It's really totally up to you. 
All right. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is on the sides here, I'm gonna flip these over and trim off any excess of those little um, half circles that might be hanging off of the edge there. Okay, so there we have our top of our mushroom. So cute, so cute. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our gills so that its drawing side is facing towards us. And then you have your skewer here and your skewer has a flat end here, but there's a broken end on one side because I broke off the tip of the skewer before I put it in your kit. So you're gonna actually start from the broken end and, and then you're gonna press it through the drawing side of this mushroom, of the gills of the mushroom. Now, when, you're, um, have it, when you have it pressed through the other side, you don't want there to be very much hanging off. If there's too much, when you go to put the top of your mushroom on, it's, you're, it won't fit and match up with the gills. So you wanna make sure that these are pressed pretty, is pressed pretty far forward. So when you put your mushroom on there, then it matches up with the gills perfectly. If I were to guess, but maybe about a half of an inch, maybe a little less of that skewer sticking out on the other side there, okay? Now what I'm going to do, again, you don't want to burn yourself, I'm going to put hot glue right around this edge right here um, to kind of lock it in, um, lock the skewer to the little gills of the mushroom, so I'm kind of pr um, putting hot glue all the way around that. So, just like so, just right here, like that. So you probably, hopefully you can see what I did there, and that's just going to keep that locked in place. And then I'm also gonna take my hot glue and you're gonna wanna work kind of quickly here, but I'm gonna have my hot glue and I'm gonna put it all the way along the edges of my gills, not all the way to the edge, but like around the kind of the middle section. I'm gonna lay my mushroom top right on the top there. And then I'm gonna kind of use my fingers and kind of press this together all the way around, okay? And again, you wanna work kind of quickly because if you um, don't work quickly enough, then it will not adhere properly and then you're going to need to add more hot glue. Okay, So you want to kind of press that around there evenly until it's not coming apart anymore. There we go. Perfect. All right. So while that's drying, we're going to set that to the side for a moment. We have this little piece here. Okay. So this is a text weight piece of paper. It's pretty flexible. I have inked it up on this side. So this is the original color of the paper and I add some ink to this side to make it more interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to roll it up into like a little scroll. So you kind of roll it on up like so. Ta -da! Then you're going to unroll it and then you're going to start in the corner. So one of the corners over here and you're going to roll it again. But this time you're going to kind of roll it at an angle just slightly because what we're wanting to do is we want it to be really skinny at the top and really wide at the bottom. Okay, so kind of like the cone. I tell kids kind of like an ice cream cone shape, right? So you see how this little tab is, it's not matched up towards the top because it, in order to make it a cone shape, it kind of lands on the side here. So we're gonna use a little bit of white glue again to adhere that little tab in place. So you just put some glue on that little tab and kind of wrap it and seal it like that. The amount of space up here should be enough for the, it to slide um, right onto the skewer, okay? So just kind of be aware of that. If it's too skinny, the skewer will not fit in there. So now would be a great time for you to make that adjustment if you need to. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, and once again, I recommend about 10 seconds holding that in place until it's not coming apart anymore. So now you see um, this part of the top of the skewer here, This there's no glue on it at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we have these three little strings here. These are the ones to make, um, they're kind of mushroom colored to make it look a little bit more like a wand, but still mushroom colors. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna wrap this around here, our, our little skewer handle, and we're just gonna tie a single knot, right? So just overhand knot right there and just slide and and just um, kind of pull it tight. And then you're gonna slide that up to the top of your wand. All right, so then you're gonna do the same thing with the next string. So again, you're gonna kind of find the middle here. You're just gonna do a single overhand knot, and then you're gonna pull that tight, and then you're just gonna bring that up to the top of the little skewer there. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the last one. Okay, all right, roughly find the middle, overhand knot, and then tie that tight, and then press it to the top. Okay, so this is what you have at the moment, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some hot glue, mostly towards the top up here, and that's gonna lock in all of those ribbons, but it's also gonna give us something to, for this to stick onto as we slide it in place, okay? So we're putting hot glue right down here towards the bottom. And I kind of do it um, kind of around all the sides, so that way I'm not just doing it only at the top or only on one side. I'm kind of pulling down maybe about half an inch or so. Then I'm gonna take this, I'm starting with the skinny side of my cone, 
and we're gonna slide that up the skewer and kind of, I kind of like to twist it just a little bit, that way it gets like all the glue is on it really good. And then I'm gonna kind of press and hold that down there, um, again, for probably about 10 seconds, okay? Now you may find that um, you might need to add a little bit more glue kind of here and there just to kind of lock some things in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue underneath here, that way it can kind of press the stem in place, so then that way it's not just kind of moving and foiling all about. So I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit of glue on the inside there, and I'll kind of press that down so that that way it doesn't go moving on me. All right, and there we have our mushroom wand. I'm so stinking happy with it. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I hope you guys have fun making mushroom wands too. And now that you know how to do it, you can even find tiny little toothpicks or other smaller skewers and make mini mushroom wands, because how fun would that be? All right, friends, thanks for joining me for the mushroom wand craft. Hope you have a great day. Bye, friends.